How do you know they're each other? There? You might want to chill out with your speech, buddy. Alright guys, so today I wanted to make a video on how to use centering and movement at the same time. And this is something I've seen with like the people I coach or just people I try to help get better at the game. Uh, this is a reoccurring problem that a lot of them have at the same time. So instead of just me like coaching each individual person, I'm like, hey do this, hey do this. They've watched all my videos, but they're still doing the same problem. And I kind of want to put that in a video so that in case any of you guys have that same problem, it would really help you guys out and you can get a lot better um, in this game. Okay, so we all know centering, right? So centering, putting the white dot uh, at the person, preferably like through a wall. So just like if you had wall hacks, right? If you could see them through the wall, then you'd be able to look like this, aim and shoot. You'd be able to kill them instantly. Uh, so like centering, there's that. And it's really easy to center like that when you're in the firing range. So I could just practice on here, right? If you guys have horrible centering, you could just put the white dot on the guy, move like this and shoot, right? Boom, perfect centering. But the problem is, when a lot of people try to move super fast in this game and try to get a lot of kills, uh, they must mess this up a lot where they actually, like, if they're going to turn around this wall and shoot this guy right here, they do this. So they go like this, and then they turn to the left like that. So they're moving like this, which is bad. And what they should be doing instead is this. And wait till it gets up. Like that. All right. Now that may seem like super similar, like, oh, that's not a big fix, but it is a huge difference because if you're moving around like the wall right here and then you're moving to the left right here, well, now this guy has so much time to be able to shoot you while you're turning. And if you're on a low sensitivity, then you're going to be slower to get to him on time. And if you're on a fast sensitivity, then you might overlook and then have to readjust. So no matter what sense you play on, it's still going to be so much harder for you to actually snap onto a target like that instead of if you were just pre-centered like this. Right? So there's a few things that you need to focus on to actually really get this better. Um, one, you need to practice on like curving your slide. Okay? Because if I'm sliding straight forward like here and then turning... Well, it's going to be so much harder because I kind of have to go like, go like this, right? So if I actually go in a curvier movement like this, right? Like around there. If I curve around like that, well, I'm going to try to like make it a little better. So like, boom. Now I'm setting my body up to actually move towards this direction while I can center onto his body like this. All right. So instead of going like this, right, I can curve around here and then boom. I'm already set up to look at him while I'm in the middle of the slide. Okay, so that's one thing that could help you get a lot better. Um, also, another thing that could help you is not uh, ADSing too early. So what I mean by that is don't ADS and then look. Because like I talked in the past few videos, right? If you're using your ADS sensitivity, that's going to move slower to the character right there. And if you just move the white dot onto the guy, well, then you could just ADS once it's locked in. And that's going to make you snap better. Okay, so I'm going to put him over here again. All right, so me doing it the wrong way is like this, right? Or even even if I do it fast, right? I'm going to try to do it fast. That's still wrong. You don't want to do it like that. And if you curve it out a little bit more, so like boop, right? Boop. That's going to be a lot better and a lot more uh, up to the chest like that. Now, another thing that I want to talk about in this game as well is some people, uh, or a lot of people, right? Um, they want to move super fast, right? Because obviously the faster you move, the more you'll be able to like shoot people and have fast reaction speed and stuff like that. And that really is going to mess up your aim. Uh, and I say that because if you actually slide over and look at this person right here, you're going to be looking at him at the same exact speed on whatever sensitivity you're on or how fast you move. Just because as soon as your body moves, your white dot is on him. So it doesn't matter if I'm on like a super low or super fast sensitivity. As long as my body is aimed in the middle of his chest, you're going to be able to be at the same exact speed every single time. Um, so it is way better if you play like a lower sensitivity and you were smoother and slower with your movement than if you were super fast. All right, because if you're going to get there at the same time, you'd rather have organized movement and be able to set your shot up like this. Instead of being super fast, being at the same speed, and then you can overshoot, or you might ADS too early to where the iron sight 
it is blocking the body and stuff like that. Um, so if you actually do it a little bit more slower and organized, then it'll be easier for you to adjust to his body. All right. I'd rather you guys, even if it was a little bit slower, I'd rather you waste like a few seconds getting a shot ready instead of just being super fast and then missing like four shots here. That's not good. So don't do it fast. You want to do it nice and slow. And that's going to set yourself up to get good aim assist, uh, set your body up for the shot, and also be able to shoot him at the very second that you possibly can when you pop out of that wall. All right. So boom. Boom. There you go. So just like that. And if you guys watch a lot of my gameplays, you, you will notice that there is a lot of times where I do not mess up my movement at all. I don't have um, too many dead slides or just choppy movement or moving too fast to the point where I look unorganized. Every single thing is really clean. It's just the same rhythm over and over. Even if I jump, like it's all smooth, nice, coordinated and everything like that. And that, like I said, you just want to practice having slower movement. Make sure it's super organized. Make sure each button you're doing is on purpose you're not just spamming a bunch of buttons uh just like that and then over time as you get used to the slower movements and doing every single thing correctly then it's going to be more fluid and when you move those movements up a little bit faster you're going to have every single thing that you need and you're not going to mess up any of your movement um or your shots just like that all right so start off really slow even if you're a really good player right just start off slow make sure it's organized and then Work your way up or keep it the same, all right? It's way better than being super fast, choppy, and <laughs> just being bad. And make sure you have longer slides, too, because when you have longer slides, right, long, that actually helps your uh, aiming really good as well, all right? So I think that it would be worse if I just, like, slide cancel super fast like that and shoot. That would actually be worse. It hurt me more than if I did, like, a longer slide and then ease into that spot and then shot him right there, all right? So long slides over short slides. Definitely is a lot better in this game, all right? But that's really all I wanted to say in this part. I just wanted to give one of the main problems that I see with a lot of people that uh, I coach in this game or try to help get better. And hopefully this helps you out too. Um, and you can kind of like record your gameplay, examine it yourself. Even if you think you know what you're doing, right? You could just like compare this to what you're doing and then just kind of see ways you can improve or if you're doing it right and then just keep doing it okay so yeah that was uh censoring while moving this game so that you're a lot better shooter